Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome. My name is Shavariel and we are back at it again. Hope you all are having a good Wednesday. It'll be Thursday soon. So I wanted to dig deep into what we always talk about parenting or whatever it is related to that. This time it's going to be on a different level. So I received not a notification, but I was actually on my phone last night and I was just Googling a few things. And then I came across an article by one of the news stations here in local Las Vegas, which is KTNB, that's Channel 13 News here in Vegas. And the first title that I saw was crazy. It says Nevada has nation's fourth highest rate of babies born with syphilis. All right, let's continue on. So I only have the article pulled up. I read some of it. I didn't do like a whole bunch of research, but I'm just downplaying on what I did do and what I didn't do. But anyway, I just went on ahead and just looked up a few things and here's what i found so i'm just reading you what i see not on the ktmv article that's the news station but i also just you know just google nevada syphilis outbreak and it says here as soon as you search it it says clark county health officials declared an outbreak in las vegas last week after noting a 128 percent increase in reported syphilis cases since 2012 with 615 of the 694 cases involving men diagnosed last year and this makes nevada's rate of syphilis the highest in the western united states now it doesn't say when this when this was posted that statement i read but we have got to do better. We've got to do better. And then to continue on because this is, this is alarming. And then for some of you who don't know or aren't familiar with syphilis, I just looked that up and it says syphilis is a bacterial infection usually spread by sexual contact that starts as a painless sore. So it says syphilis develops in stages and symptoms vary with each stage. The first stage involves a painless sore on the genitals, rectum, or mouth. After the initial sore heals, the second stage is characterized by a rash. Then there are no symptoms until the final stage, which may occur years later. This final stage can result in damage to the brain, nerves, eyes, or heart. Syphilis is treated with penicillin. Sexual partners should also be treated. Okay, so from what I read, it's contracted through sexual activity. That's what I'm that's what I'm reading here. Okay? Now, again for all of you who don't know what syphilis is, you can contract it through sexual activity or sexual engagement, whatever it is you want to call it. And so that's that's that part. So let me go ahead and get to this article by KTMB. And this was posted yesterday. So as of April 19th, 2022, okay? So here's what, I'm not gonna read the whole thing because, you know, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but if you Google KTMV Nevada syphilis, it'll pop right up, or it should for the first article, and you'll be able to read more there. That way you can get more educated and research some more on your own and at your earliest convenience because this is this is really needed to to 
to wake us up. Okay. So anyway, let's go here. It says Nevada saw an increase in babies born with syphilis in 2020. Data recently released by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention shows nationwide Nevada remains in the top 10 for cases of congenital syphilis when the disease is passed from mother to baby during pregnancy or birth. Again, I'm not going to read the, the full article. I'm just going to highlight a few things. Okay, this is important. I mean, all of it is important, but this one I'll read. It says the state reported 46 cases in 2020, which translates to a rate of 131.2 cases per 100,000 live births. It's a 12% increase. From the data the CDC reported in 2019, it says Reno's KOLO TV reported. And let's see. Okay, I'm just looking here. So if I, if you see me pause, I'm still here. I'm just wanting to give you the highlights of this. It says the rise of congenital syphilis in Nevada is part of a larger increase across the country, according to the CDC. Cases have more than tripled in recent years, the CDC says. More than 2,000 were reported in 2020, the highest number reported in one year since 1994. And then lastly, I'll just read this bit here. It says syphilis can be treated and cured with antibiotics. Pregnant women who test positive are advised to seek treatment as soon as possible. And then I'll leave it there. So that's what I have for you all right here. Okay, let's talk. So that's, that's sad. That's sad. We have to do better. We have to do better. And I'm not singling you out because I am, I am with you. I live in society too. I'm a human being too. We just have to do better. There is no way. Listen to me, y'all. There is no way. Okay, so you, you may not know, but I'm against fornication, okay? And it's for a reason. It's for a reason. It's because to prevent unplanned pregnancy, to prevent being a single mother or a single father, to prevent broken households, having children with people whom you can't even stand right now yet you're in a relationship with them and you haven't left and it's been 10 plus years or even five plus years or two plus years okay and i know what the bible says i know what the lord's word says and i've i've done it i've been in that position of fornicating probably shouldn't have said it like that put my business out there like that but it's true and you know, as as a society, we have to do better. No fornicating, okay? No fornicating. You're playing with your life. Had we understood this when we took sex ed in like eighth grade, but they don't, you know, they, they show you the video, they give you the explanation medically, but there is no depth into what this can turn out or turn into, you know, whether it's the actual addiction or 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 having multiple partners, you know, this stuff carries on with you in your body into somebody else's body. What is on my nose? I'm gonna get this message out. You're not gonna bother me. So anyway, but we have to do better. 
If you're just like, you know, Shavaria, I'm going to do what I want to do. That's your preference. But I'm saying fornicating is, is what we want to stay away from because the Lord's word is the Lord's word. That will never change. And if you can do better now, start doing better. Whatever you did yesterday, early this morning, late this afternoon, it's already done. But moving forward, keep that word, keep his word in mind, okay? And and if you're doing that, if you're still going out there and just all willy-nilly and just doing what you want to do sexually anyway, get screened for everything okay everything herpes what's that word what's that t word what is it trichinoma um, i don't know tr tr something i don't know syphilis gonorrhea what else did i say syphilis i did say syphilis okay and everything else that's out there that you could possibly be at risk from from a sexually transmitted disease. They call it STI now, so sexually transmitted infections. So, protection, but that does not mean you still won't get it. Okay, that's not what that means. That is not what that means. So the best thing to do is to practice abstinence until you get married. Okay, have some self-control. Your body is not made for pleasure. It says that in the Bible. I will get the scripture for you, okay? Your body is not solely made for pleasure. Okay, understand that, all right? And like I said, if you're gonna do what you wanna do anyway, get screened, get tested, please. Okay, HIV, AIDS, get tested for everything. Some, they check your blood work. Some, urine, urine, what is that? Urine testing. And then some, you have to go in for a separate screening or whatever because you're not going to get everything from one, from one blood test. But some of those STIs or STDs that you really need, that you go in separately for, because they may not have the testing or the screening kit for it. So you gotta say, okay, hey, Quest, you know, the medical center, hey, Quest Diagnostics, I want to get tested for this. And they'll be like, okay, set up your appointment, you go in, you get tested. And it's important that you get tested as long as you're sexually active you should be getting tested frequently, okay? And even if you're not, get it frequently because the article just said even after a few years later, you could develop, what is it, symptoms. So in layman's terms, I say that like I'm smart, right? But I'm just saying it because I relate to, to that meaning. I'm not saying you all are not smart. Okay, I know you're smart. All right. Okay. I'm just saying in layman terms, it means that thing go dormant in your body. What does that mean? Dormant? It gets quiet after a while. You may not see any symptoms. You may not see any outbreaks. But it's in your system is what I'm saying. And... Y'all, we got to do better. We got to do better. That's nasty. That's nasty. Okay? That's nasty. No, you. it's not that serious to go, mm, 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 mm. And then you go on about your business. It's not that serious. Put that energy or that adrenaline into creating your business or reading a book or go work out or something. But it's just not safe. You and I and I would so much like to see an education chart to say, look, if you're gonna be sexually active, you sleeping with this person, and that person slept with these people. It's like a tree of like sexual partners. So you have this person, okay. You wanna you wanna do that? You wanna engage? Okay, let me tell you what the risks are. 
you sleeping with this person, that person slept with two people, and this person, these two people slept with four each, and that four each slept with eight each, and then so on and so forth. So you know how much this person has has interacted with other spirits and other people. And I highly doubt every one of those partners are getting tested or screened for STDs or STIs on a regular basis, especially with blood work. Blood work is gonna tell you everything. And if you get pregnant by one of these jokers, and I mean the, the guys or men, if you're a good guy, because there's some out there, if you're a good guy getting, getting pregnant by one of these women, women, and she goes in, she goes in to get, what is it, what is it? Is it OBGYN, thank you. And she goes to get checked out, check up for the baby. Because when you when a woman gets pregnant, they screen you for everything. They have to. Because now you have a baby. And you find out and she finds out that she has something. You passing it, you could possibly pass it on to the baby. Now it's been plenty of cases where Maybe the mother had something and, and didn't pass it to the baby. So it's, it's, it's possible baby could be safe. But again, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a medical physician. This is not, this is only my opinion. Even if you have something, it could possibly pass on to the baby. And the baby is born with what you can control yourself over. So everyone, this is serious. And to those who are watching from the state of Nevada, think again. Okay, think again. He may look cute. And that guy may look like, like a snack with his muscles and he tall or he short or whatever your preference is. Long hair, short hair, whatever it is. And you just saying, mm, I like to go and Mm. You better think again. Or if you see a woman, she got her hair laid, got that, got the hair laid, got the fingernails going. Nice heels, thighs looking right, thicker than a snicker. Okay. You better think again. Ooh, I read. Oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I was I was in the book of Matthew. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I was in the I was in the book of Matthew. And it was I want to say chapter 23, Matthew chapter 23. Read that whole chapter. And I believe that's in there. I just read it. So you you read it. And it was woe to the Pharisees and scribes. And you know what it said? I don't remember the exact verse, but there is a verse in there where it says blind, what was it? Blind Pharisees wash. Okay. That's what it was. I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. I, I, this is the Lord's word. I can't mess up on this. So if I need time to think, you don't rush me. Okay. All right. Uh, but it was basically saying, what good is it to wash outside of a cup and not wash the inside? And so it was just like, whoa to you, to you Pharisees and scribes. Wash out, wash the inside of the cup and wash the outside too. Because it's no good for you to wash out, wash the outside of the cup and the inside is dirty. And there's this one verse, it hit me so hard, y'all. It said, you are like, not, not you, but he was talking to the scribes and Pharisees. And he said, you are like a wash, whitewashed tomb. Beautiful. But inside, it's full of dead men bones. I said, oh, oh. I said, Lord Jesus will cut you with that word. 
He'll cut you with that word. Oh, get you with that word. And that 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 touched on me so hard because looks is not everything. A man can look so fine. And inside it's a graveyard. Or like how my actions were. Woman looks so good. And okay. And woman looks so good and you got you got the you open the door to her heart, it'd be crows flying out. Be like, oh wait. Girl. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. That that you don't see you don't see crows just flying out like that. We gotta talk. What's up? Okay, been there, been there, and it's not, it's not, it's not good, okay? A person can look so good, it'd be death on the inside. Not from them, but what they've done, whom they've hurt. And like I said, it's no judgment here. It's no judgment. I didn't hurt, I didn't hurt. A lot of people, I'm not boasting about it. I'm just saying, I know. Okay, so y'all, that's not, that's not good. Whether in Nevada or a different state, just anywhere. There is no way with all of this technology, with all of this information, that you still choose to go in the wrong direction. Now I get it, mistakes happen or or you're, you're getting through those bad habits to create good ones, to make good ones, okay. But these are lives, okay? These are lives, you know, and we have to really take account for that, for the lives that we touch Mm. it's heavy it's heavy it's, it's heavy it's heavy you know it's heavy to talk about it especially when you know or even maybe you've gone through it like I have just just with in relationships general just when you hurt someone And that thing go to spilling over to other lives. It's nobody, nobody is, it's nobody is, I'm not going to say happy. Of course you wouldn't be happy by somebody hurting you, but, and I'm not even just talking STDs or STIs, but even with like, you know, you know when you get to hitting, You know, or that, eh, you know, man, that, that put that, you know, that's not good. That, that affects people and they carry that. Some people carry it over. Some people, they go through the healing process and they become better people, better citizens in the world. That's what we need. And so with that, just be careful, be careful who you, be careful how you treat people. There was this thing we used to do in elementary school after we say the Pledge of Allegiance. And we say, treat others how you wish to be treated. You wouldn't want somebody to do that to you, knowing that you have a disease and go still sleep with them. Or say like, if you forget, okay, okay. But you don't continue to engage and engage and engage and engage to say like, oh, it's all right. I'm not showing any symptoms or, you know, oh, it's okay. You good. Because this stuff can come back later. All right. So. That's, that's what I wanted to tell you. 
and we've got to do better. We've got to do better. We can do better. And I know just because you, you know better, you do better. Let's, let's choose a different way of thinking. So let's push to do better one step at a time. Okay? So we'll do that. So y'all, um, we'll be talking soon, okay? We'll be talking soon, but I definitely just wanted to put that out there. So you all just be aware. I don't care how fine that man is. I don't care how beautiful that woman is. You better ask this person, hey, so when was the last time you got tested? And if that person is just like, well, I don't, oh, uh, no, mm-mm, mm-mm, no, mm-mm, no, 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 mm-mm. And don't, and the thing is, okay, say if a person was just like, okay, I'll go get tested. If you don't physically see the test, it's hearsay, okay, because I've seen that happen to where you just like, so what's up with whoop de whoop? You know, did you ever get those results back? And people be like, well, yeah, you know, I'm good. <laughs> I don't know that. Show me your test. And I know I may be going overboard, and some people may think I'm out of line for this. I don't care. This is to save lives okay especially if okay say like okay that person got tested okay you go get tested too you be like okay i got mine where's yours at okay i'm i'm uh, -uh. Same, time, same time same time same time same time same time same time it's my glasses <sighs> these ain't working let me get my contacts Ugh. that little eyedropper in there okay all right <laughs> hmm. let's see okay uh, yeah. what did I say <laughs> okay <laughs> here's your results back and you'd be like you good and you like you know okay thank you for giving me my results back yeah we'll talk we'll talk okay i i gotta go you know i'd be at the gym be like uh, you know get my little body straight and everything like that so yeah we'll, we'll talk and be ghosted never talk to that person again because mm -mm. if they don't know what's on their test or if they just gloss over it like yeah i got this but no it's okay no Let's talk about this. And if you're gonna do that while that person is infected, okay, some people have. You're right, some people have. Go and f go to a medical physician who is certified to give you both good advice, good medical advice on how to continue on with your relationship safely okay don't 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 get advice from friends don't don't go to your buddy like oh yeah man you know she had that and i was just like you know she ain't seen she ain't seen nothing down there but you know yeah you're gonna be good bros no or if she or for your girlfriend is just like or the girl asks her friend it's just like you're a girl you know he had it too but after a while i just you know he wasn't breaking out no more. So, girl, you good. No. Go to a medical physician and get both of you. So, if one of you have some or if you both have something, go together if you can. I don't know the regulations for that because medical, you're not able to disclose your medical information unless you authorize that person to be in the same room with you. Okay? So... But you both go because you're both going to be together and get the medical advice that you need from a certified physician. Not friends, not family, not co-workers, not...
CEOs and CFOs and all of that stuff go to a certified medical physician, okay? Okay. All right, y'all. Well, I have my hair back. I just, I actually just got done working out with me and my child. So we were, we were working out to get our bodies, you know, going and stretching and doing all that good stuff. We were just working out. So keep us active. Keep us active. Keep us healthy. Okay. So that's what I got. I'll talk to y'all later. You all have a good night. Bye. Bye.